through history we've seen some theories that have stood the test of time well and some that have disappeared relatively quickly. Uh, a theory that stands the test of time well will have been prodded and poked and battered and examined from every angle and it still stands up. And Einstein's theory of relativity is one of those that's been subject to a lot of scrutiny but it was only following the discovery of pulsars that it was possible to test Einstein's ideas about gravity. Einstein's theories predict that where you have a pair of stars orbiting each other, this system produces a new kind of radiation, gravitational radiation or gravitational waves. And the effect of these waves being produced are that the two stars move closer together and go round faster which send out more gravity waves, so they move closer together and go around even faster. And they actually end up merging. And with the first pulsar that was discovered in one of these binary systems, they've been able to track the orbit, and they have seen that the stars are moving closer together in exactly the manner predicted by Einstein in his theory. So does that mean that Einstein's been proved right then? The current situation is that um, the pulsar astronomers have shown that Einstein's theory of gravity is right to about 0.02%. That's not the same as saying it's true, though, is it? Scientists, will, scientists should never claim that something is absolutely true. You should never claim perfect or total or 100% because you never, ever get there. Is science therefore not a quest for the truth? Science is a quest for understanding. A search for truth seems to me to be full of pitfalls. We all have different understandings of what truth is and we each believe, or we're in danger of each believing, that our truth is the one and only absolute truth, which is why I say it's full of pitfalls. Uh, I think a search for understanding is much more serviceable to humankind and is a sufficiently ambitious goal of itself. <laughs> <laughs>